Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training. So in this session, we will be looking at how you can create a new database uh, using the Weekend 13C Cloud Control. Okay, so before we begin, I'll request uh, all the new friends to please subscribe our YouTube channel Oracle DB Online Training as you are already uh, getting a lot of learning on this YouTube platform and previously we have seen our uh, last video about troubleshooting of standard database. And there are so many uh, videos you can follow. And even though in OEM Cloud Control, we have last time we have seen about how to uh, set up email notification, right? And uh, uh, apart from this, I'll request if you are interested about our uh, training course or uh, if you are interested about our documents, you can uh, check our community page. You'll find out all the details about the same. And uh, also, um, you can follow on. Uh, various social uh, media platforms and if you are interested about any personal training or uh, any uh, database technical support just uh, contact me on this number okay so before i'll uh, proceed further and uh, i'll request everyone to please subscribe and also you can get a join uh, you can join our membership program so let's uh, uh, start today's agenda that is how you can create a new database uh, from the oegin 13c cloud control okay uh, so i already have the Oracle uh, Cloud Control console uh, here. So what I'll do, I'll just log in into this console and uh, using my uh, my schema, and we'll try to see how we can create a new database. Okay. So the prerequisite for this video, you need to uh, know like uh, how to uh, configure the OEM agent on any specific server. So we already have the agent running on the uh, database server where we want to create the database. Okay, and uh, also, uh, if you if you want to learn how to uh, uh, configure the Oracle Cloud Control 13C uh, from the scratch, you can follow our previous videos. I'll provide you the links. You can go through the those the links also. Okay, so the uh, as of now, we have the OMS server up and running, and also we have the uh, also we have the agent running on that server where we want to perform the database uh, a new database creation. Okay, so we'll what we'll do will uh, this is our summary page, uh, enterprise summary page. Here you can see there are few databases and two targets are already uh, showing up, and we uh, are and we want to create a new database. Okay, so I'll I'll just give some basic backgrounds like uh, this is my OMS server where my OMS running. This is the server IP is one one two, and and uh, this is the host where I want to install the database. So as of now, you can see there is a one database running as a print database. I'll I'll try to create a new database as a test database using the uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager. Okay, and the agent is already running. If you want to verify whether the agent is uh, running or not, so what you can do, you can just uh, run uh, run PSMTF five three. Okay, so you'll find out the location where from where it is actually uh, running. So you need to just go to that agent location, and in your case, you'll find out in the so from here you can run EMTTL. Okay, so you can see this agent is already up and running on this server. This is the host. I'll provide you the host name also. Like the, uh, sorry, that means to ignore it. So this is my host where the OEM agent is already up and running, and you can see this is 13.5. Uh, currently up and running, and uh, we will try to install create a new database instance as a name test. If you can see here, we have only one database running as of now, which is a Prim one. Sorry, on Prim. Okay, so let's let's try to create the database using OEM console. So what you have to do, you need to go to the enterprise, and uh, so we are already logging with the Pisman schema, and uh, our agent is already uh, deployed and it is uh, up and running on the server where we want to create the database. So once you click on the enterprise, you need to go to uh, this one, provisioning and patching. Okay, then you need to go to database provisioning. Okay, so as soon as you click on the database provisioning, uh, just wait for a few seconds. And now you'll, you'll find out create database option over here, the last option. You need to click on this one. And you need to click on the launch option from here. Okay, so now we have the database version which we want to install. So I will go with 19 version. Then we have Oracle single instance database. 
or do you want to create a rack database, one more rack database? So my suggestion is, uh, as of now, we are just uh, uh, interested about how we can create the database. So I'll go with the single instance database. So we'll select this option from here, and then next option we need to select the um, host name. Okay, so we need to uh, select, click on the host option here, add host. So host is 190 server where we want to do the database creation. I'll select this one. And after that, you need to click on the next tab from here. Sorry. Also, we need to specify the Oracle home. That's an important one. So we'll click on this select option over here. So it will auto detect the Oracle home because uh, the agent is already up and running and has already find, uh, found out all my uh, home locations from their server. Okay. So this is the home location and this is the server where we want to do the installation and host credential is already there. So by default, it has selected the host credential also. Okay. If it is not there, you need to create it. So using this host option on the lower screen, you can do it. So now we have the uh, template selection. Uh, so you can select either a general purpose or transactional processing customer, uh, custom database or the database also. So I'll go with custom database option over here and click on the next tab. So next part is to provide the database name. So I'll provide the name as test database over here and the SID will also be the same. If you want to create a container database, uh, just select this option number of containers, uh, BDBs if you want that thing you can define over here. So as of now, we are just focusing on non-container database. Next one is you have to provide the uh, password for sys user, system user and DBS and update. So what I'll do, I'll just keep the same password for all the users. So I'll make this password simplest. So click on the next one. Okay, so on the next page, it will ask the storage type. So storage, either you, you can go with the file system or you can select the ASM based location. So I'll go with file system only. If you are interested, you can go with the ASM. That's up to you. And next one is you have to select the common file uh, database file location. So I'll, I'll go with the Oracle based slash ORA data file. And if you want to use the OML based configuration, so you can select this also. Okay. Next one is to enable the recovery area and archive. So recovery area also we can select on this location, specify the archive log location. So if you want, you can just specify the entire log location or here so you can, by default, it will go to the, uh, what you call the past recovery area. So I'll stick to that only. And this is the temporary work uh, directory. Okay, with this, we'll select to the next part. So now it is verifying the storage location. Next one is to provide the memory parameters. So under memory, I'll just uh, uh, give like 800 MB for SG and uh, 350 MB for um, PGA. Okay, because I have the less memory on the server, I'll try to just uh, pick up the small, small numbers over here. And if you want to modify anything like the database connection mode, so those things you can modify. Like if you are going with the shared server architecture, then you can select them. This option also, yeah, otherwise you can go with the dedicated server mode. And also you can define the number of processes, block type, all those things. I'll, I'll select to the default options. We'll move to the next part from here. So after this, it will uh, go with next option. So next option, additional configuration. Since the listener is already up and running, I will not uh, touch anything over there. If you want, you can give the new listener name also. And also we have this feature. So we will uh, stick to the default feature. And if you want to execute any custom script, you can specify those location also, but I will just go with the default options, okay? So now we have deployment procedure instance name. So we, we can directly uh, click on immediate or even though you can run it or later option. So, so it will schedule one job of, and, uh, with the mentioned date and time. And then um, once the time will, uh, uh, once the time will trigger, it will create the database during that period of time. So I'll, I'll stick to the immediate option over here and then we'll move to the next part. 
Okay, so we have the final confirmation as a review page. Like uh, this is a single instance database. This is a template which will get created. This is a host name, the database parameters are there, and these are the default listener. And everything is given over here. If you want to modify, you can just go back and do the analysis. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just try to um, click on submit option. So uh, you want to uh, submit. So we'll, uh, we're just asking the confirmation. So I'll stick to the submit option and we'll see. So I hope like uh, you have understood how to I mean, explore the options within the Oracle Enterprise the Cloud Control Console uh, for creating a new data. So you can see this database creation is currently getting in progress. And I think it is still in the yeah, we can click on this option also. So I think it's still, still getting initialized. So we need to just wait for a few seconds before it actually get uh, created. Okay. So create database is still in the progress. We need to just wait. So we'll try to find out anything on the error side. So we'll go to Sweet Italia. Then I put it for home. Yes. I think this slow, uh, system looks uh, very slow, and because of that, we cannot see anything as of now. We have to just wait for a few seconds before we get any other information. So, as of now, we can see the status is running, and uh, we'll wait for a few seconds. And so now I'll go back to the server and we'll try to see. So, we have this. Uh, log location under the Oracle base of the tool logs. So if you run ls minus LRT here, you find out uh creation David script log. So I'll just uh, run the L commands before it says um table of does not exist. Okay, let me see. minus here find it. So P1 is running that means our database creation is happening. What I'll do, I'll just try to, to uh, go to the base location and uh, we'll do alert log location. Okay. We'll go to alert log location and we'll try to see if anything is there. Okay. So we are under the base location of this database. We'll try to open the alert log. So in the background, the table create, sorry, database creation is happening. So we are good, I think. Uh, we just have to wait until this get completed. Okay. So this is our server where the database creation is happening. And uh, even though you can see PS minus EF there, uh, P monitor is showing the test data over here. So which was not there previously. And the time frame also you can see that. Yeah. So uh, this is the simplest way of uh, database creation using the OEM. Uh, if you are good with OEM, I mean, uh, you can just uh, go with these options and uh, uh, you can uh, create the database. So this database creation will take certain some amount of time, but I have shown you the steps like how you can uh, do the actual database creation within the OEM console. And I hope uh, you have understood uh, today's agenda, like how to create new database from the OEM 13C cloud control.
and um, i hope you have enjoyed our uh, tutorial and if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, for any uh, help or any time you can directly get in touch with me and also if you have any request uh, if you are interested about our document program you can just uh, yes these documents and if you are looking for a full dba course you can enroll our course today uh, you will definitely get a um, lot of help and benefit from it. so that's it from our end and i will stop here thanks for watching our videos have a great day